the F-22 Raptor, America's invisible hunter, versus Russia's Su-57. Built for agility and range, one is combat-proven, the other untested. If they meet in battle, the truth may shock you. Every fighter jet is more than steel and engines, it is the signature of its nation. The F-22 Raptor was crafted by Lockheed Martin and Boeing, a jewel of American air dominance. Across the world, Russia answered with the Su-57, forged by Sukhoi under United Aircraft Corporation. These jets are not just aircraft, they are flags in the sky. Each carries the pride, ambition, and defiance of its nation. From the very beginning, this is America's crown against Russia's challenge, and only one nation can claim the true throne of the air. Purpose defines a jet's soul. The F-22 was born as an air superiority fighter, sharpened further with ground attack and electronic warfare. It is America's sword and shield in the sky. The Su-57 was built differently, Russia demanded one jet for every mission. Air combat, strikes, and reconnaissance. Flexibility is its weapon, designed to replace multiple roles in a single frame. America invested in perfection in one task, Russia in versatility at many. The clash becomes clear specialist versus all-rounder, and each side believes its path leads to supremacy. Behind the cockpit glass, one human carries it all. Both the F-22 and Su-57 rely on a single pilot, commanding millions of dollars in tech while flying at blistering speeds. The Raptor's systems fuse sensors into one deadly picture, keeping the American pilot always one step ahead. The Su-57 grants its pilot extreme maneuverability and wider mission options, trusting Russian skill to exploit its versatility. In this duel, it isn't just nation against nation, it is one mind versus another, each backed by the world's most advanced machines. And in combat, the pilot's split-second decision decides everything. Speed is survival, and speed is dominance. The F-22 Raptor can roar through the sky at 1,500 miles per hour at altitude, faster than most rivals can even react. Russia's Su-57 pushes hard at 1,327 miles per hour, still blistering but short of America's pace. Those extra hundreds of miles per hour mean the Raptor can set the fight on its own terms, chase, retreat, strike, vanish speed gives options. The Su-57 is quick, but here, the Raptor dictates the tempo. In aerial warfare, the one who controls time usually controls victory. Endurance tells a different story. The F-22 can reach 2,000 miles with external fuel tanks, carrying its stealthy shadow far from home bases. Yet Russia's Su-57 stretches further 2,800 miles with tanks giving it longer patrols and deeper strike reach. In real battles, that means Russia's fighter can cover more ground, stay airborne longer, and appear where the enemy least expects. America's Raptor focuses on lethal precision, but Russia's Su-57 is built to last in the sky. Range becomes a weapon of its own, and here the Russian jet claims the advantage. Altitude is the throne of air combat. The F-22 climbs to 65,000 feet, higher than most fighters can ever reach. The Su-57 goes a shade higher at 66,000 feet, nearly brushing the edge of space. At these heights, radar horizons stretch farther, missiles fly deadlier, and maneuvering takes on new meaning. The difference is slight, but it reminds us that even 1,000 feet can tilt the scales. Both jets dominate the upper atmosphere, looking down on rivals as predators eye prey. The high ground belongs to them, and up here, the fight is theirs alone. Design speaks through wings. The F-22 spreads 44 feet 6 inches, optimized for stealth and agility. Russia's Su-57 stretches slightly wider, at 46 feet 3 inches, designed to generate more lift and flexibility. Wider wings can mean longer endurance and sharper turns at altitude. America tuned its jet for precision control, while Russia engineered for adaptability in the air. These differences may seem small on paper, but matter greatly in combat. Each inch reflects a philosophy tied American discipline versus Russian freedom of movement, and every design choice has consequences in the sky. The true measure of endurance sits inside the tanks. The F-22 holds 18,000 pounds of internal fuel, enough for extended missions but still demanding support for longer operations. Russia's Su-57 carries far more 22,700 pounds, almost 5,000 pounds extra. That fuel means more time over the battlefield, deeper strikes without refueling, and longer patrols across vast regions. America built the Raptor to fight fast and vanish. Russia built the Su-57 to fight long and stay. When wars stretch over hours, fuel turns into power. And here, the Su-57 edges ahead. Weight defines how much a fighter can carry into the sky. 
The F-22 Raptor pushes off the runway with 83,500 pounds at maximum, a heavyweight ready-to-haul weapons and fuel. Russia's Su-57 lifts lighter at 77,162 pounds, giving it agility but less brute force. Heavyweight power means the Raptor can launch fully loaded with no compromise. Lighter weight lets the Su-57 jump quicker, turning fast and conserving strength. America chose strength, Russia chose balance. In this clash, the question becomes simple. Which is deadlier, raw muscle or agile grace? The heart of the fighter is its engine. America's Raptor breathes through two Pratt & Whitney F-119PW100 turbofans, designed for reliability and supercruise. Russia's Su-57 runs on two Saturn Al 41F1 afterburning turbofans, with the advanced ISDALI 30 engines still planned for the future. Both jets use thrust vectoring, but the difference is critical the F-22 moves in two dimensions, while the Su-57 bends in three. That means Russia's fighter twists through extreme angles, no rival dares. Yet the Raptor answers with proven stability at supersonic speeds. Two designs, two philosophies, each pushing the limits of physics, when the Raptor hunts, it does so with precision. Six AMRAMs tucked inside its base strike enemies beyond visual range, while two Sidewinders wait to finish the kill. A 20mm Vulcan cannon spits 480 rounds of fury, ready for close dogfights. Add JDAMs or GBU-39 bombs, and the Raptor becomes a stealthy assassin for ground targets. The Su-57, however, walks into battle, loaded like an arsenal on wings. A 30mm cannon, R-77 meters and R-74M2 missiles, cage series bombs, and even anti-ship and anti-radiation missiles make it a multi-mission beast. America bets on stealth precision. Russia bets on overwhelming firepower. One is a scalpel, the other a hammer. Numbers decide whether a jet is a prototype or a war machine. The United States produced 195 Raptors, including test models, giving it a real combat fleet spread across the globe. Russia, by 2025, has built only around 20 Su-57 seconds. Many still prototypes. That difference is more than statistics, it decides whether an enemy meets one jet or a squadron. America can deploy its Raptors worldwide, proven in patrols and combat missions. Russia's fighter is still rare, a glimpse of ambition more than a force of dominance. In the skies, numbers equal presence, and presence equals power. Here, America rules. Price tags reveal national choices. Each F-22 costs a jaw-dropping $334 million, making it one of the most expensive jets ever made. But America paid for unmatched stealth, avionics, and supercruise. The Su-57 comes in far cheaper, at an estimated $35 to $40 million. That is nearly 10 fighters for the cost of one Raptor. Cheaper means Russia can dream of mass production, turning ambition into numbers if its economy allows. Expensive means America built fewer jets, but each one is nearly untouchable. Is it better to field an army of wolves or one unbeatable lion? Combat history separates dreams from reality. The F-22 entered service in 2005, deployed to Japan in 2007, and by 2014 was flying combat missions in Syria against ISIS. It has patrolled, intercepted, and proven its dominance over nearly two decades. The Su-57 only joined service in 2020, with earlier trials in Syria in 2018 and limited strikes reported in Ukraine in 2022. But with so few jets built, its experience is still limited. One is a veteran of real-world missions, the other, a newcomer testing its claws. On the battlefield, proof matters more than promises. And here, the Raptor already has scars to show. Every fighter hides strengths, but every design has cracks. The F-22 is nearly invisible flying faster than sound without afterburners and fusing data from every sensor into one deadly picture. Yet it suffers from its price and a production line that shut too soon. The Su-57 dazzles with extreme maneuverability, long range, and plans to integrate drones into its missions. But its stealth is weaker, and its small fleet is a major handicap. America built perfection but in small numbers. Russia built flexibility but has yet to prove it can scale. Both shine and both struggle. So who truly wins when the F-22 Raptor faces the Su-57? On today's battlefield, the edge still belongs to America. The Raptor's stealth is unmatched, its supercruise gives it control of the fight, and its combat record proves it is not theory but fact. First to see, first to shoot, first to kill this remains the F-22's creed. But Russia's Su-57 is no empty challenger. 
Its extreme maneuverability, longer range and cheaper cost make it a dangerous opponent, especially in larger numbers. Where the Raptor dominates one-on-one, -on -one, the Su-57 is designed to overwhelm, outlast, and adapt. If Moscow can build enough of them and refine its systems, the Su-57 could turn from underdog into equal. The deeper truth is this. The Raptor represents America's bet on quality over quantity perfection at any price. The Su-57 represents Russia's belief in flexibility, affordability, and endurance, even if it sacrifices some stealth. These jets are not just machines, they are philosophies made flesh. Today, the skies still belong to the Raptor, the proven hunter with invisible wings, but tomorrow remains uncertain. Will America's crown slip as its fleet ages and production lines stay closed? Or will Russia's Su-57 finally arrive in numbers, backed by evolving technology and drone integration? The verdict is clear for now. The F-22 is the deadlier fighter today. Yet the long game is still in play, and the world is watching. In the end, it may not just be about who builds the best jet, but who can field enough of them to command the future. And there you have it, the ultimate face-off between the F-22 Raptor and the Su-57. Each jet dominates in its own way, but only you can decide who truly rules the skies. Subscribe, like, share, and drop your thoughts in the comments we want to hear your verdict.